Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a what's in my bag video. So I wanna show you guys my new purse and move everything from my old purse into my new purse. I also decided to include what's in my tote bag for this video. I recently got a tote bag. It was awesome decorating it and customizing it. And I even took it with me for my first day of class. If you're interested in seeing the new purse and tote bag I have and what I put inside of them, then keep watching. And make sure to click the subscribe button and to ring the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Okay, so I have the package here, but let me show you what's in my current bag before I open this one. So this is my current bag. It's a simple crossbody. The front zip here is just for decoration, but I really like the tassels on it. In this back pouch, I have some mini Lysol wipes and this cute little mask. And in the main part, I have my Michael Kors wallet. This is like one of my first name brand purchases when it comes to fashion. I have a reusable silicone drop. I haven't used it out yet because I still don't like to eat or drink in public that much. I got a Lucky Charms Rice Krispie bar. I have this lip balm from Curology. I got some more Lysol. This is like a mini Lysol spray. But some band-aids, some Advil, this tiny native deodorant, my car key, and finally this hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. Now let's unbox my new bag. Okay, sorry for the change in camera angles. The sun was coming right into my eyes. Let's open it up. As usual, I have my pink X-Acto knife and scissors. I decided to get this purse from Coach. Here it is, let's open it up. I like that they put the protective film over it all. They also like taped it so it doesn't come off during shipping. Okay, here is the purse. I got a Coach Casey Satchel strawberry print. It was about $400 and I know that's a lot, but I got it for a discount 60% off and it was $160. I think that's a pretty good price for like a designer bag. I love the little keychain and the gold. My aesthetic is like pink with white and also gold. This is a size comparison between my old purse and my new purse. This one's much bigger. The bottom of this one is about 10 inches while the top is about 13 inches. So without the strap, you can still carry it around like this. And with the strap, it becomes this nice crossbody. I saw this TikTok online with someone demonstrating three different ways you can wear the Casey Satchel. First was simply how it is. Second was with the strap as a crossbody. And the third was also using the strap, but they were able to to go from here to here but at a shorter distance so it could be like a shoulder bag. I haven't been able to figure out how they did that so I can't really show you. So I figured out how to turn it into a shoulder bag. Yes, it does work but it was pretty difficult to accomplish. To do so, you have to put one hook on first and then the other hook that has this buckle near it. You have to take out the buckle, put the end of it through this side and then rebuckle it and then you have to clip it on. Super confusing. I feel like it's just not convenient. The whole reason why I like the crossbody feature, it's so convenient to quickly switch it from just a simple purse to the crossbody. So I don't think I'll be using it as a shoulder bag at all. The quality of this bag is really nice and it's really smooth and sturdy. There's this tiny little badge inside, a badge of authenticity. That's good. <laughs> and there's also a little zipper on the inside as well. I forgot to mention it before, but there's also this outer zipper on the back of the purse. Compared to my old purse, I do have to be careful to not let it get dirty. It is a bit heavy, but it does make sense looking at how big it is. And there's so much room inside to fit my old stuff and some more stuff in here. Now I'm gonna try it on. What do you think? Do you like it? Here's a little hamster update. The biggest addition is this egg carton lid. I cut holes on both sides so Laddu can use it as a little tunnel.
Okay, so this is the tote bag I have. It's from Hobby Lobby. It's about $5. I really like it because the material is pretty good and it comes with two pockets and it's a pretty big size so it can hold enough stuff for college. I didn't want to make any mistakes when I was drawing on this material because it's super hard to erase pencil marks off of. So to make sure I didn't make a mistake, I put the image on my phone and I turned the brightness all the way up and I slid my phone in through this top pocket all the way down here and I just did the rough shape with my pencil and I was able to copy the details based off the picture and this was pretty easy because it was pretty small but the other side was a little harder so this is the other side and although it's pretty simple that's what makes it difficult because then if you make one mistake it's pretty noticeable so to make sure i didn't mess up the pattern i used this mini projector and put this on top of just like this and i had this hung up on the wall right there and i ended up connecting my ipad to the projector and i made sure the image was right on the ipad screen so it would come right on the wall which would come right on the tote bag but this is what I'm planning to use. And these are all acrylic paint. So I'm gonna paint Pusheen to be Cherry's colors and I'm gonna paint Laddu to be Laddu's colors. This is the progress I've made so far. I've just used the red acrylic paint to color in all the strawberries. I used a mix of yellow and white to do these little seeds and I'm using light green to do the stems. Welcome to my closet. I have the tote bag hanging from a shower hook. It's just drying. Then I can flip it to the other side to paint the cherry and laddu. I'm getting ready to paint this now and I have a lovely model. No! Okay, it looks like I can't paint this right now. Cherry has now moved off of the tote bag to get some water. And in the meantime, I got some different sized paint brushes, my palette, some browns, and a bunch of Sharpies because I don't know which ones still work and which ones don't. So I used these four colors to make this brownish grayish color. And I blocked out the colors on Cherry and Laddu, and I even added the black accents. Just finished the outlining, and I think it turned out so cute. It's you and Laddu. Now that I've finished painting both sides, I'm going to be using this protective finish to make sure the paint stays on really good. this little cute makeup bag from Amazon. It was about seven, eight bucks. I thought it would be perfect to hold all of my items that I would need in both my purse and my tote bag. I think it's gonna help make sure the inside of my purse doesn't get messy. I'm gonna show you these pins I got to put on the tote bag. These top four are from Hot Topic and these bottom two came from Hobby Lobby as a set. This one looks like it's a cute Hello Kitty crossover with Fruits Basket. I watched the old version, but I haven't finished watching the new version. And then this is a cute heart-shaped pin of Killua from Hunter Hunter or Hunter x Hunter. Still need to finish this show as well. And I really like this one because it has this little dangly bit. It's my first ever enamel pin, and I just love that it has flowers on it and it's a cat. how the pins look. They are a little cluttered, but it took so long to put them in the right place. This is my first time having some pins, so it was pretty hard, but I think I did all right. I'm 
gonna show you guys what I take in my tote bag to campus. Right now I'm doing my summer classes so I don't need as much stuff. I like to have a keychain or two and I clip my AirPods to them. And then on the back, I usually have my wallet and keys clipped right here. I have this little pencil pouch with just pencil, pen, highlighter. I have my hydro flask. I have a bunch of cute stickers on here. The little bag that I told you guys about before. And it's super easy for me to just take this bag out of my purse and put it into my tote bag when I'm in a rush to get to class. I have my journal. This is what keeps my life organized. I have my iPad and it also has the Apple Pencil so I can take notes with it in class. And lastly, we have my computer. This is a MacBook Air. Yeah, and a bunch of these stickers are from small businesses so i want to thank you all for watching this video it was super fun getting this tote bag and decorating it to fit my aesthetic and getting my first designer purse it's so pretty and i've been having so much fun taking it around with me everywhere i'm a little stressed though because it's like white i don't want to get it stained but i feel like i've been doing a pretty good job so far if you're interested in seeing more content like this then please subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss when i post a new video and i can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!